you are making one simple mistake and it's ruining your chances to becoming a cloud engineer. And to be honest, it's not what you think. It's not the complexity of AWS services. It's not about certifications or even the job market. It's something completely unrelated, your dopamine. More specifically, it's how you're managing your dopamine throughout the day. I'm Suleiman, I've been in tech for more than a decade and I currently run my own businesses in consulting software and education. And through my academy, I've helped more than 500 people master cloud and AI. Now, the real reason that you can't become a cloud engineer is that your dopamine system is completely broken and it's sabotaging your ability to focus on the work that matters. And to fix this, there's a simple technique that takes literally five minutes to implement and it will completely rewire your brain and make learning cloud engineering so easy that it becomes addictive. That way, instead of fighting against your brain's natural mechanisms, you're working with it. In this video, I'm going going to show you exactly how you can achieve this using something called dopamine loading. But first, how do you know if you are actually struggling with a broken dopamine system? Is there some sort of common theme or signs to look for? Well, the reality is that most people don't even realize that their dopamine is hijacked. They just think that they're not disciplined enough or they're not motivated. But if you're experiencing any of these warning signs or similar that I'm going to tell you about, then your dopamine system is likely to be broken. Now you can watch Netflix for hours, but you can't focus on a project for more than 10 minutes. You feel restless and bored trying to solve different difficult problems. You start cloud projects, but never actually finish any of them. You're always reaching for your phone when you're meant to be locked in. If two or three of these hit home, then your dopamine system is broken and you need a complete reset before it's too late because there's something on the horizon that's making this incredibly dangerous for your career and quite frankly, for your life. AI, but it's not how you think. I'm not referring to AI 2027 and how AI will displace millions of workers. I'm actually talking about the opposite, how tech workers will displace themselves. Now, let me explain. Right now, most people, when they're stuck on a problem, they just jump onto ChatGPT and get AI to figure it out for them. If you need to write code, ask AI. Sending out an email, just ask AI. And it seems harmless on the surface, but behind the scenes, you're actually slowly losing your ability to think and solve problems yourself. There's actually been studies published recently on how AI AI is taking away your cognitive thinking, which means you have to go out of your way to take back the control, to get your focus and your clarity back. The truth is, virtually everyone is training their brains to be dependent on instant AI dopamine, which presents a massive opportunity for you. While everyone is slowly losing their cognitive thinking, you can focus for long hours with clarity. Think about this. How many engineers can consistently work on difficult problems for four to six hours without even reaching for their phone or asking AI to solve it for them? Not many. And that scarcity is exactly what will make you incredibly valuable in the marketplace. Because the gap from where you are right now and becoming a six-figure cloud engineer isn't your technical knowledge. It's your ability to focus deeply and think through complex problems without getting distracted. You know what? I wasn't immune to this myself either. I remember a few years ago, before 2020, the very first thing that I would do waking up was grab my phone, scroll through social media for a few minutes, maybe even check TikTok. Then after my morning routine, I would sit at my laptop just thinking. Okay, you know, time to get to work. I didn't realize at the time, but something had fundamentally changed in my brain. By the time that I got to work, I was now in what I call a dopamine deficit. After that huge spike from my phone, my baseline dopamine had crashed below the normal levels. And in this state, anything requiring real mental effort felt absolutely miserable. So what would inevitably happen? I'd try and power through maybe five to 10 minutes. I'd get frustrated. I'd think, let me just check Slack quickly. Or maybe I'll watch this YouTube video from David Goggins to get motivated. Another dopamine spike and then another crash. By the end of the day, I'd consumed so many hours of social media, watched dozens of videos, but I hadn't actually made any real progress. I was working hard, putting in the hours, but I was actually getting nowhere. And this is where the science becomes crucial to understand. Dopamine isn't just the pleasure chemical. It's actually your brain's focusing mechanism. When you get a hit of dopamine, your brain pays attention to whatever caused that release. It's how your brain decides what's worth focusing on. And our brains operate on contrast. If you start your day with high dopamine activities, like doom scrolling on TikTok, your brain now needs that same level of stimulation to focus on anything else. This is why you can binge Netflix 
six hours, but you can't focus on an AWS lab for just 10 minutes. Your brain has been conditioned to expect constant dopamine and stimulation. And after months of struggling with this cycle, I discovered something called dopamine loading. And that's when everything clicked for me. That very next morning, I implemented it for the first time. The difference was immediate. For the first time in months, I could focus on difficult problems for hours without my brain constantly seeking distractions. And that's how I was able to land my first role as a cloud engineer in less than 90 days. So what exactly is this technique? Now, instead of starting your day with high dopamine activities and trying to do difficult work afterwards, you completely flip it around. You do all your difficult work first while your dopamine is naturally at baseline levels. Then you load all your high dopamine activities at the end of your day. The first graph is your typical day, high spikes throughout the day with crashes. And the second graph is your dopamine loading flatter, more gradual increases, then massive spikes at the end of the day. Think of it like this. Most people's dopamine throughout the day looks like a roller coaster, you know, up and down. They wake up, immediately there's a spike of dopamine with their phone. Then it crashes down. They try to work, they get distracted, and there's a spike again. Then they crash again. But with dopamine loading, your day looks completely different. You keep your dopamine at near a baseline level all day while you do your hardest work. Then at the end of the day, you reward yourself with a massive dopamine load, all the fun stuff that you've been saving up. This works because you're brain operates on contrast. You have to remember our primal nature. Our brain's mechanisms can't understand that we have all of these artificial dopamine hits at our fingertips 24-7. They're used to our struggling to hunt for food, and it wouldn't be until we catch the day's meal that we'd get a massive hit of dopamine. So in this new world that we're living in, it's completely alien for our brains. Now, here is a framework that you can apply tomorrow to take advantage of dopamine loading. In the morning until evening, let's say 5 p.m., don't check your phone or do any sort of high dopamine activities. You know what I'm talking about. And then tackle your hardest task first, like building a cloud project. And when it comes to eating at lunchtime, keep it light and low carb to maintain focus because high carb meals spike your dopamine. And then after 5 p.m., when you've completed all of your work, now you can actually go and indulge. Go to the gym, watch that YouTube video, sit in front of Netflix, eat whatever foods you actually want. Basically, load up on the dopamine that you've been avoiding. And when you do this, the dopamine hit that you get will feel so much more amazing, not only because you've earned it, but also your brain's receptors haven't been desensitized from the constant doom scrolling in the day. Now, look, I just made a video basically telling you to put your phone away. But the reality is, while everyone else is becoming so dependent on AI prompts and dopamine hits from their phones, you actually have a chance to develop one skill that can't be automated. Deep, sustained focus on complex problems. In 2025 and beyond, what has got infinitely harder and will continue to become more difficult is our ability to focus deeply and think through problems independently. There's just so much information and distractions around us all of the time. And as an engineer, you have to realize that dopamine loading isn't just another productivity hack. It can genuinely make or break your career in tech. So don't let this video just be another one that you've watched without implementing anything. Start tomorrow and then come back here or tag me on LinkedIn to tell me how much progress that you've made in a day. As always, I'm rooting for you. Good luck.